Wimborne progressed through to the quarter-finals of the Dorset Senior Cup at uh, Bartercard Cuthbury Stadium tonight with a hard-fought 1-0 win over Hamworthy United. The goal that counted came on 49 minutes and it was that man Mark Gamble that got it, getting on the end of a well-struck cross from the right and Mark calmly side-footed the ball past the keeper. But it hadn't been all Wimborne until, until then. In fact, the first half was very even. Hamworth United will think themselves unlucky not to take the lead as early as the eighth minute when a ball presented itself in the six-yard box, but the, the resultant shot was hurried and went, went over the bar. Uh, on 15 minutes, Jamie Davidson made a good run and, and fed Mark Gamble, and his shot was saved by the keeper. But in truth, there wasn't a lot more to report in, in what was a, a, a rather poor first half. Wimborne came out for the second half and it was clear that they'd been told to up the tempo and, and, and get at Hamworthy using a bit more speed. They played really well for 15 minutes and uh, it ended with that goal from Mark Gamble. 1-0 to Wimborne then and on the hour mark uh, Steve Cuss took the opportunity of, of, bringing, of bringing on Chris Wilcox, Louis Kelloway and Sam Griffin for Mark Gamble, Matt Kemble and Jamie Davidson. And that was a move that could have backfired because just 10 minutes later uh, George Webb went down uh, after a, a good block by a Hamworthy defender in the, just outside the six yard box and despite a lot of treatment Webby was unable to continue so Wimborne down to 10. And things got worse five minutes later when Sam Griffin picked up a yellow card and then another yellow card in the same incident uh, and was dispatched for the early bath so Wimborne had to face the last 15 minutes with, with only nine men against Hamworthy who now saw their chance. Ben Field made a couple of really good saves in the second half but in truth there wasn't a lot more he, he had to do and Wimborne saw out the remaining minutes without too much alarm. Overall, Steve Cuss will be happy with, 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 with the result, if not particularly with the performance, and he'll, have, he'll be worried about um, uh, the fitness of, of George Webb ahead of Saturday's big uh, trophy game at, at Dorchester. We'll just have to wait and see how that happens, and I'm going to hurry up and finish this before all the lights go out. Next up for the Magpies, that FA Trophy match at Dorchester on Saturday. We we'll look forward to seeing you there. Steve Cuss after tonight's Dorset Senior Cup win over Hamworthy United. Uh, Steve, we're down to nine men at the end there. And, uh, uh, we didn't make it easy for ourselves, did we? Yeah, I didn't think it was a great performance for us, but in terms of what I was trying to get out of the game, it was all going to plan apart from our last 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, obviously in the space of, I think it was about three or four minutes, we've lost two players and you know we're playing with nine men. and. Uh, you know, like I say, up to that point, it was going exactly to plan without really playing particularly well. Mm -hmm. So it's just a disappointing end to, to, to a night that's been good for a lot of young players. Mm. Well, let's talk about the, the, the injury. How, how is George Webb? What's, what's it looking like? Yeah, he took a nasty blow. I mean, it was, uh, it was a great block from the defender to, to block mm -hmm. him when he looked almost odds on to score. And, uh, but he's just twisted his knee in there and it's affected it down his leg and his calf and he's, uh, he can't put much weight on it. So. You know, that's one big blow to us for, for starters, so, you know, we're disappointed, but, you know, we'll see what it's like and assess it and see whether he's going to be around at the weekend. First half wasn't a great game of football. I mean, arguably, Hamworth, they should have been ahead early on when they put that ball over, over, over the bar, but, I mean, second half, I thought we came out with much more purpose, up to tempo, and uh, we, looked good, we looked good and, and, uh, and, and got the goal yeah. we deserved. I was disappointed first half because I thought that there was a few players there that, that had an opportunity to come out and really put on a performance tonight mm -hmm. and they didn't play our way, they didn't do what we did and mm -hmm. I thought defensively we were, we were off them mm -hmm. and uh, attacking wise we just didn't pass it and so uh, you know we pass it when, we, when you're in the team and you've got to be brave and you've got to move that ball around and I didn't think we did that enough but mm -hmm. I thought it was the reverse when we come out at 15 minutes at the start of the second half was was very good and I thought we played Pinging with real about, pace we? yeah, yeah. and um, we got a goal and you know that was enough to win the game tonight but you know on another night you could find yourself a goal down, two goals down, and you, can, you can't do that. So it's, it's a learning curve for the lads that come in. Uh, you've got to be at it all the time, whatever whatever game you're playing in, and uh, you've, got to, you've got to do what's what's asked of you. So, you know, we'll learn from that. Yeah. Um, Dan Burton Hemmings got the sponsor's man of the match, and I don't think that would be any surprise to anybody here. He put in a good shift. In yeah, it. you know, we got a lot of time for Dan. He's, uh, you know, he's naturally left-footed, full of pace, uh, got good skills, and you know, he can be a real threat in front of goal. And he's unlucky not to score tonight. He, you know, he created stuff. So mm. really pleased with him. And you know, I thought it was uh, 
a real baptism of fire for the other two young lads who come in. You know, the two lads, Louis and uh, Chris, who've been in part of uh, the under-18 youth squad. You, you throw them on and, you know, within five, ten minutes of them coming on, circumstances have totally changed. And uh, I thought the two of them adapted really well to what, what was required to see us through to the end of the game. Because although we had nine men, I think Ben was only called on once to make a save. So, you know, the nine did a good job to see it out. Yeah, and young Chris Wilcox, who we saw in the FA Youth Cup, um, part of Nick Hutchings' winning team, he showed a few good touches when he came on. Yeah, again, I, I like the look of Chris. I think he does all the right things as a striker, um, but he'll learn tonight that it's there's the physical side of it, and uh, you know he took a few took a few knocks there tonight, and that's what he'll learn, and he, he'll only learn that by playing. And uh, the more senior games he gets, the, the better he'll be with that. But he came straight on, and within 30 seconds, made a, a little run down the inside right channel great movement and that was what he's all about and, and he's got a goal or two in him as well so you know hopefully we can keep those boys in, involved uh, throughout the rest of the season because you know I thought that Louis come on as well was really composed mm. didn't give the ball mm. away was physical in his mm. tackles and won them so you know it's real promising the young lads tonight. Steve give Webby our best wishes and we'll see you on Saturday okay. at Dorchester. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks.